like the pickles. Why not? He doesn't like enough pickles. He loves his pickles. I'm the CPM of Gus Pickles. What's a CPM? Chief Pickle Maven. We're in business since 1897. Is it good? It's pretty good. What is it's it? A pizza cone. A pizza cone. You're with Gus's Nice? Yeah. Have you gone to Empire yet? No. They have the world's largest chicken nugget. Okay, I'll try that. They broke the Guinness World Record. Okay. Hi, I'm JB Geller from joyofkosher.com and Joy of Kosher with Jamie Geller Magazine. I'm here at Kosher Fest celebrating the 25th year. Of course, I wasn't born right when it began. But anyway, it's amazing. It's so many people here. It's totally packed. Kosher food is very hot right now, and I'll be signing my new book, Joy of Kosher, at the Author's Corner soon. So I hope you uh, enjoy it or get to hear all the great things about it as much as I did. Okay. What do you think? My Kosher Fest? Yeah. Beautiful. So a lot of business going out of the air. Hi, we're from Reisman's Bakery. We're in the Bensoner section of Brooklyn, right near Bar Park and Flatbush. We sell all kinds of baked goods. Rugalook is our specialty. As you can see, we make special cookies for Hanukkah. For Purim, we have Hamatasha. We're a company that's been around for a very long time. We make a lot of stuff that people love for a long time, but we make a lot of new things too, so there's a lot for you to enjoy. How do you like the Kosher Fest? The Kosher Fest is a great opportunity to meet a lot of different people from all over the country. You know, in my country, if somebody will come with a camera to my fest, I'll break his camera. What country is that? <laughs> How are you? Shalom, hi. I'm good. What, How are you? My name is AB. I'm from Fumio. I'm the manager of the number one kosher restaurant in the United States of the America. I'm here with David Shragi, manager of Seasons of Manhattan, together with Shragi, manager of the Butcher Department. This is Kevin Lipka. He's the owner of Fumio Grill and Sushi. The food show is unbelievable. Chris. Unbelievable. Mention Chris. And uh, Chris is uh, one of the uh, butcher guys. Yes, Christian. Top butcher in the United States. Top butcher. And also in Peru. He's, you know, he, he's known for his meat. His name is not very kosher. <laughs> he's known for his meat. He makes, he makes great kielbasa. This, you know, does good stuff. And the kosher show is really, has been a really success so far. It's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very delicious food. Very nice. All kosher. A lot of people. Where are you from? New York. New York. And are you Jewish? <laughs> I told her if she reads the copy of Hamodia, um, she'll be Jewish automatically. <laughs> hey, my name is Richard Rabkin. I'm from COR, the Kosher Council. We're based out of Toronto. We give kosher certification to restaurants and uh, industrial manufacturing plants all across the world. And um, you know, one of the things that people want to know about kosher certification agencies, how do they do it? Well, we get all of the ingredients that a company um, is using to make their products. We send rabbis who are experts in both food technology and kosher law, and they send we send them to the companies, and they visit the companies to make sure that what's happening on the piece of paper is really what's happening. Happening on the piece of paper is really what's happening at the restaurant. So when somebody sees a CR symbol or any other reliable symbol, they should know that, that is kosher certified and they can rely on it. Yes, cheese tortellini salad. Oh my God, I like what do you think? Oh, excellent. What did you try? Right there, the bar. With mushrooms. Are you Jewish? No. Okay. Are you? No. Okay. Hello, I am Schleimer Rutzenberg from Hooligan Food from London. It's a great pasta and noodles I've got too. But it's all natural and good for taste and good for your stomach to eat. Thanks for coming to me to my booth. It's very good. It's very good meat. He does? Yeah. Let him take a picture. Where's... I need a nap. Yeah. No, right. Eat, eat it. Huh? Okay. 
Well, this is the first kosher organic chicken on the market that is uh, serving uh, well-educated consumers that uh, are looking for organic products. I wanted to pick this up too. That's a heavy bird. It took us a very long time to make this kind of coffee. We have 100% Arabica beans who gained a large following from the past years. Uh, we're very happy with the result and we're very happy that people are happy that we're bringing this kind of product to the USA. Where are the beans from? All the beans are actually imported from different parts of South America. It is a Mexican recipe. Uh, this Mexican uh, bolita, la, 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 la Nestle's, it's very, very similar to it, but that, of course, is trade. But this is not. This is kosher. So it's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. Did you taste it? I know you taste it. So what do you think? It tastes good. Where are you from? Brooklyn. What part? Excuse me. What part of Brooklyn? I'm from Winsburg. These are the most photographed falafels on the East Coast. Who are you? Who am I? Anthony Tadaro. Chef at RC Fine Foods here. They're made in New York? In the city? In New York?
is so proud of themselves. And my picky eater, who's normally the pizza pasta kind of kid, we teach him a dish, we teach him different techniques, and they get so excited and they get so more willing to try new things. Walking around here at Kosher Fest, do you right. have any ideas for your next cookbook? Actually, yes. We had one idea. I told Leia I was looking forward to eating. Should I say what it was? Go for it. A Strauss ice cream bar, the vanilla bar covered with white chocolate. And then we said, okay, so we're going to make an ice cream cake covered with white chocolate and nuts and crunch. So, yeah. That's a fact. That's what Dairy Made Easy for, for in April. Wonderful. So, yes. How did you connect with the shit up with chickens coming from Amish country? chickens from Canada and with that stopped I realized there were kosher consumers that were looking for a kosher organic chicken which was not existent 21 years ago. So uh, we went to a kosher processor, we looked up a kosher, I mean a, uh, a certified organic farmer who raised organic chickens and, and we made located, a shit up. Located where? Uh, the farmer was located in Pennsylvania. What is the difference taste-wise between an organic kosher free-range whole chicken and the standard chicken I'm getting in my Well, supermarket? anybody who starts eating this doesn't Never want to eat other chickens. No. It really, the difference yes. is you definitely feel the difference. It's much better, it's more tender, more tasty, etc. Shoyer, the Kosher Baker. Here is my second cookbook, The Holiday Kosher Baker, organized by Jewish Holidays. It is a new way to look at Jewish holidays. It's got every kind of flavor of hamantaschen and donuts you could ever imagine, 45 Passover desserts, and recipes labeled with sugar-free and gluten-free and nut-free, so something for everyone. My name is Amy Zeidelman of Sum Foods Tahina. It's made from 100% sesame seeds. What do you think?